So guys, so I decided I'm going to make you guys breakfast. I'm going to make pancakes and this uh, recipe or this episode is dedicated to Buzz Killington 47 because he asked me to make pancakes. Uh, he said what would be cheaper than pancakes and you know what, I agree with him. And at the end I'm going to give you a little surprise here. I'm going to be doing a giveaway and you'll find out at the end. So there's very few things that you're actually going to need in this pancake recipe. For one, you're going to need, obviously, pancake batter. Now, I didn't make my own pancake batter, and I wasn't planning on making my own either. It's actually fairly cheap to buy the stuff like Bisquick and so on. I mean, I bought this off-brand one that works perfectly fine. It was only $1.79. It only requires egg and one and one-third of milk. So, see, I have my batter here, and you want it to be fairly thick, you know, obviously, to make pancakes. And what you're going to do with that, then, you're going to take, you're going to peel your banana, so that way half of it is peeled, and it creates this like little already natural cutting board surface. And you just take your knife that I told you to use in the last episode, so you should watch that if you haven't. And you just slice it down. You will then have these little slices of bananas, which you cannot see very well because my hand is blocking them. So here we go, I'll give you a couple slices, there you go. Now don't put that in your batter, it's actually better to not put it in your batter rather than put them in as they're cooking. So let's get to cooking these bananas. So there's a couple things I failed to mention. I'm not cooking bananas, I'm actually cooking pancakes. I don't know why I said that in the last scene there. But you're supposed to use a non-stick pan obviously with the Teflon, very nice. And my girlfriend here, she decided to tell me to add lemon juice to the pancake batter. Uh, I've read online that it makes it slightly fluffier. I don't know why that is. I did not look that part up. But it also makes it taste better, according to her. So I'm going to show you how to make these pancakes now. All right, let's do this. So I have my nonstick pan and I put butter in there and I let it melt and once it gets hot enough you're gonna take your batter and your ladle here which is a nice thing to have and you're gonna pour however much you want because it's gonna make whatever size you want of pancake there so I, mean, I just put barely like a quarter of a ladle and it's a decent sized pancake already now my pancakes gonna be fairly uneven now but they'll taste delicious and you just let it cook. As you can see, my pancakes are cooking up very nicely. Not perfect circles, but hey, you know what, they're pancakes. And they're mine, right? So while these are still in the battery stage and still very raw, you want to add your bananas. So I go slice banana there, just kind of push it in there a little bit so it gets nice and stuck in there. Just place them, you know, wherever you like, really. And this should uh, make your, your pancakes taste quite nicely. And beautiful 18 Brianna, it will definitely get you the poon. Once you add these bananas, that is. So it's just about time to flip them now. Let's do this. Yeah. Now they're not perfect because I don't often make pancakes. I'm not gonna lie about that. But will they be tasty? Hell yeah. And will I get the poon? Hell yeah. Just so happens my girlfriend likes banana pancakes. Stuff. The only thing she's made for me, actually. It's not very cool, I might add, that she only makes. The only thing she's made since we've been together for four years is pancakes. Whatever. I'll accept it. There she is. Nod your head. No, not you nod your head. Shake your head at this person. So it's the mid-afternoon, and I really don't feel like eating pancakes at, what time is it now? 5.40 in the afternoon. But instead, I decided to, I want to save these. That's what I decided to do. You know what the cool thing is about these pancakes? Is you just slip them right into a bag like this, as so. And then you freeze them. And you know what? How quick is that? You buy those stupid, what, those ones at, at the store that cost you five bucks? And, you know, they're frozen just like these guys are, except they're your own pancakes. And this is a way cheaper buy than anything. Just do this on the weekend. Do this on a Sunday night. 
Sunday afternoon, any time you have a chance, and just fruit, just let them cool, put them inside a little bag, and throw them in the freezer, just flat. Make sure they're flat, otherwise they're going to be all like warped and retarded looking. Now let's get to the real business of the, of the day, really. I decided to do a giveaway, and I'm going to give you guys just four things. This cookbook I'm going to give to you if one of you come up with the best summer recipe. The best recipe you have as college kids. It's got to be cheap, tasty, and awesome. That's right, awesome. So, when I will pick this out, or I'll pick out the best recipe by next week when I put out my next episode. And I will let you know, and uh, once I let you know which recipe it is, I will then find out your address and I will send just four things, which is basically just a cookbook about cooking just four things. I'm going to kill it. Straight up kill it, yeah. Well, guys, it's been fun yet again. Now, let's say, uh, that was retarded. You know what? I'm going to talk to you guys later. I tried to go with something cool. Not working. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. When I eat hot Cheetos, I get crazy. I just love hot Cheetos. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs>